it is important. We did have early on in some of the Metasoft conversions, um, there was a problem occurring where when it would convert the data, it would actually drop the IC9 code into the IC10 field as well. So I'm going to pause for a moment and show you what that would look like. I'm going to open a different practice here. And I'm going to I'm going to show you how to resolve that because it's common enough, we've heard it enough now that um, if you open your diagnosis code list and you see the same code, like your IC9 code also populated in your IC10 field, I would want you to take care of that before you do anything else with your IC10 code setup. Okay? So, there is a utility that you can run that will fix that problem. I'm going to recommend that you do a backup of your data before you run the utility. Always a good idea. So if you back up your data, I'm going to show you how to actually run that utility. Let me switch back over to my other practice here. Okay. So the way that you can fix that issue, and it's really quick, is if you go to your desktop and you see your Metasoft icon, you can right click on that icon and go to your properties. And here it's going to tell you where that target location is located. And you're going to click on this option that says open file location. So that will open up the folder for the Metasoft bin. And then in the Metasoft bin, you can actually just search for clear and you'll find this little utility, sorry, clear IC10 utility. So to run it, you're just going to double click on that. And then it is going to ask you which practice you want to open. So if you do happen to have multiple data sets, you would need to run it for each one that's having the issue in. I'm going to open up medical practice. This is the one that I have a sample of um, the problem in. So what that will do is it will open up this clear ICD-10 utility. So you should get an extensive list of everything that's in there. And then you're simply just going to hit start and then run that and close out of there. And then that will take care of that issue for you. So you should be able to then reopen up Metasoft and that those fields for ICD-10 code and the ICD-10 descriptions should be blank. And that's really going to be important because the other tools that are built into the system to help you manage ICD-10 are all dependent on knowing that you actually have, that there actually is an ICD-10 code in that field versus an ICD-9. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back into Metasoft here and go back to our diagnosis list. So again, if, you, if this field, when you open it up, is populated with IT9 data, make sure and run that utility. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.